What good show we do today fellas, Onions here, and today we're going to take a very close look at Hey Pierce the Invincible with his very sexy white Adam's apple and also his double chin, oh so sexy. <laughs> I'm just kidding guys, what is going on? Today we're going to take a look at Hey Pierce and we're going to do him in, and by that I mean we're going to destroy him, rip him into pieces, shoot him in the balls or whatever you want to say, basically we're going to kill him, so yeah I just actually I killed him just like 2 minutes ago and turned in the quest. So this is the class I used, I have the double penetrating Ankem Terrell self explanatory strongest pistol in the game and I have the ruby, the ruby is actually for healing myself with the grenades when my gunzerking skill is off, I have double Norfleets for the robots obviously, the sham to regenerate ammo, I have the longbow quasar which uh, helps me pull in the enemies, really really useful grenade for this kind of battle. So I'm really focusing on pistol gun damage here, so I have Swave Renegade class mod which gives me pistol gun damage 42% plus the skill for my pistol skill in the gun zerking skill tree and I have plus 6 points in that. I have pistol damage here too, Heart of the Ancients. This is a really useful relic actually, it's been added with the Ultimate Vault Hunter mode uh, DLC. And uh, for skills you can see here I have uh, Amir Huckleberry, gives me 33% skill, 33% uh, pistol damage, pistol reload speed and also I have gun damage here for 30% and for keep it piping hot which is at 25% and this skill will kick in as soon as I shoot any enemy while gun zerking because of get some it instantly activates my cooldown for my skill I have keep firing which gives me 88% fire rate and shit like that so yeah this is my skill tree I, I really focus on damage here and also include the uh, money shot skill in so let's see how this goes all right let's do this <laughs> run away from this guy once he activates his nova i'm gonna activate my gun zerking skill and toss a couple of grenades because they pull in the enemies i really like this this type of type of thing when the enemies are close together i can easily use my north fleets now and then you can see as soon as i use my north fleets Hyperius activates and just gonna go right up to him and shoot him right in the face and with the um, ruby there we go that's what I'm talking about maybe I'll be able to do him in one shot is he yep yep I got him one shot that was actually that was actually much better than I did last time let me run away from his grenades and he dropped a seraph weapon actually second time in a row gonna run out of this area because then the robots disappear and I hate fighting them it's almost almost impossible to take them out without the Norfleet I absolutely hate these guys so let's go out here and then we'll go back into the arena see what he dropped and there he is the guy I hate fighting the most let's go check out what he dropped he he rarely drops legendaries but I also see how they increase the chances for him to drop the Seraph weapons because this is actually the second time in a row he drops one and I did not reload the game I just turned in the quest grab a couple of Seraphs let's see what he dropped he dropped the new and improved Retcher I'm not sure if I pronounce that correctly uh, basically a piece of shit shotgun that is already in the game and I hate these kinds of guns so let me drop it so yeah I hope you like this video next time I'll probably battle G Master G the Invincible but uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and until next time, stay awesome guys.